take a look at the tail of the tape for our opening round contest in the Bellator Bantamweight World Grand Prix. You know, these guys both weighing in right at that 135, 134.2, but look at 5 foot 11 to 5 foot 5, and look at the reach advantage. It's a six and a half inch reach advantage for Patchy Mix. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Here's Michael C. Williams. Tonight here in Hawaii, Bellator MMA now kicks off the quarterfinal round of the one million dollar Bantamweight World Grand Prix. Set for five five minute rounds. Introducing first the blue corner at five foot five, weighing in 134.2 pounds. The former Bellator Bantamweight World Champion brings a veteran professional record of 29 wins, four losses, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Takasaki Buma, Japan, presenting Kiyoji, the Karate Kid, Haruchi. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot eleven, weighing in 135 pounds. Even the former title challenger in his quest for that second title shot brings 15 professional victories, just one loss. He fights out of Buffalo by way of Angola, New York, introducing Patchy No Love Mix. And the referee in charge, Chris West. Marty Sermito. Gentlemen, you guys heard the rules backstage. Either of you guys have any questions? Yeah. Fight hard, fight clean. Listen to my command at all times. Touch him up again if you want him. Bantamweight World Grand Prix, a single elimination tournament. Each bout scheduled for five rounds using the ABC Unified Rules of Professional MMA. A fighter who wins a tournament bout will advance to the next stage. If a bout involving the current champion ends in a no contest or draw, the champion will advance in the tournament. If a bout not involving the current champion ready? ends in a no contest ready? or draw, the three judges who scored the bout will each cast an additional ballot favoring the fighter that they believe most deserves to advance. I hope you got all that. There will be a test later on. Opening minute of this much anticipated first round battle in the 135 pound world grand prix horiguchi says his speed and his reflexes are what separates him from mix mix says hey everyone thinks my grappling is my biggest strength uh-uh it's my mindset and my conditioning Now Mick's getting a little bit of the taste of what it's like to be in there with Kyoji because you think you can touch him and all of a sudden he's in and out before you can even blink. Nice job by Mix. This is where Mix the human is so good. 11 submission wins, including five via rear naked choke, and he immediately attacks the back of Kyoji Horaguchi. Mix wasting little time in fishing for a submission against the avid fisherman. Right to the figure four body lock. He's got that leg hooked in behind Horaguchi's leg that's helping him stay right where he wants to be. Incredibly. Horaguchi is in trouble. Horaguchi's in big trouble. Patchy going palm to palm. Nope. Neck nice crank job. going. A good escape by Horaguchi. Surviving early adversity. That is early adversity. He did not expect to have Patchy Mix on his back this quick. But this is what Patchy was talking about. Look, I get his back. He is not getting out of the round. We're going to see if he can make those words come true. Horaguchi has been. Submitted once in his career that came against Demetrius Johnson. One second left in the fight. And Horaguchi trying to defend the savvy submission game of Patchy Mix. Nice job of Horaguchi trying to control the hands. Take away the ability of Patchy to lock anything up. But Mix locking in that body triangle. And what you just saw with Patchy, what just that little shot over the top. He needs to open up and do more of that to make Horiguchi have to respond to the strikes. You notice Patchy is taking him, changing that figure four, keeping his foot up. 
Horiguchi wants to take and put that foot down to the ground. That's going to help him turn inside of the figure four with it up in the air. He cannot do it. It's much more difficult. It's not impossible to escape the body triangle, but it is it incredibly, is incredibly it's difficult. And so John, knowing that, and here's Mix again going for the submission. What are avenues of opportunity for Horiguchi to release this grip as he continues to struggle against Mix with 145 left in the opening round. What Horiguchi was trying to do is get that foot down to the ground. He was unable to do it based upon that cage, kind of helping Patchy just keep it there. But what Horiguchi needs to do is isolate that foot to the ground. He gets that to the ground just like it is now. Now he can start to try to break away and get through that body triangle. If it stays up in the air, it's just much tighter on your diaphragm, very difficult to turn within it. A tremendous start by Patchy Mix. The number two ranked bantamweight who wants to run it back with Juan Archuleta. May get the opportunity in the tournament, but here focusing on Kyoji Horiguchi, who with 50 seconds left, John has to find a way to try to break the grip of Patchy Mix. You saw again, Patchy Mix switching that body triangle, keeping that foot up. The big thing, you know, Patchy Mix in his one title attempt against Juan Archuleta got Juan in these similar positions and wasn't able to get that submission and eventually got frustrated and started fighting Juan's fight instead of his fight. Well, here's Horiguchi trying to deliver some strikes from a disadvantage. 10 seconds left in the opening round and Patchy Mix, the human backpack, getting it done in this first five minutes. Surprised at all, John, by what you saw in that opening round? Surprised at how fast Patchy Mix was able to actually close that distance and get that takedown, get the back. You got to look. He dominated that round. What offense did Horiguchi have in that round? Zero. Patchy Mix went for the chokes, had some strikes. Could be a 10 8 round. Let's look at it. That was the one lone strike that Horiguchi was able to kind of land in. Did it hit? And then it was all patchy mix from here. He gets the back, gets that body triangle going. He attacked the neck. Horiguchi was able to stop it, but all domination for Patrick Mix. Couldn't ask for a better start from patchy mix. Looking to extend his win streak to three. Horiguchi looking to up, up. bounce two, back go, from fight. that knockout loss to Sergio Pettis. And he immediately attacks the lead leg of the southpaw. Two great corners. Jake Shields in Patchy Mix's corner. Mike Brown in Horiguchi's corner. Two decorated MMA veterans with tremendous abilities to teach the sport and uh, big john mccarthy saw enough to warrant a 10 8 round for patchy mix in the first round of this grand prix look if i have a fighter that has zero offensive output in an entire five minute round and his opponent has his back home chokes it's got to be a 10 8. and of course john there's always the question Horiguchi was knocked out cold by that spinning back fist and, and the ability and the, you know, the, the, the recovery from that and getting back into the cage. And you can say what you want and the, different people react different ways. He did avenge uh, another loss to, to Asakura yep. and prove that he can bounce back. But uh, again, that was a nasty knockout. Yeah, but when you know Horiguchi, you know his personalities. He well, we're seeing it he here though tonight. To the side. He's like, yeah, I made a mistake. I lost. Yep. Has it changed any way so far? Again, through that first round, not a lot to see with Mix on his back, but the way he's approaching even here in round two. Now, you know, this is the normal 
Kyoji Horiguchi that we see a guy, a lot of movement, a lot of in and out, keeping his hands down low. But there's one thing that we learned off of that knockout. Yeah. He has not changed that style of keeping his hands down low. A blue kick by Horiguchi circling the cage mix. Who didn't even need a takedown in the first round. He just attacked the back and went to work on the ground looking for a submission. But two minutes gone here in round number two, a more tactical frame as Horiguchi misses with the right. This is one of the things that Pat Mix has got to just stay calm. Do not get frustrated. Don't sit there and start to overextend or put yourself in a bad position based upon all this movement. You gotta just pick your spots, take your time, and know that eventually I'm gonna get to you. Horiguchi tries to get to Mix, left hand over the top lands. by Horaguchi. Lightning quick in and out. Former 125 pound fighter. Former champion here in Bellator. Champion in his native Japan. And there, right hand and then over the top with the left. Horiguchi doing a very nice job of coming inside, bringing his head, swinging it around, not having a target for Patchy Mix to attack. Not a lot of offense from either fighter with less than a minute and a half left here in the second round. Horiguchi, though, attacking again with the right. Patrick Mix, as you mentioned, John cannot get impatient or frustrated, but he's following Horiguchi. Needs to try to corral him there, delivers a kick. Not enough to thwart Horiguchi's movement, and Horiguchi closes the gap and delivers. It's hard to hurt cats. Horiguchi <laughs> is cat-like quick, so. See right there, just shows a little bit of, little bit of frustration. He's just got to take his time, pick your spots. Don't worry about doing anything special. And Get there's a counter forward. left hook by Horiguchi. Baited Patchy Mix into it and delivers another combination. Nice counter right from Mix. Half minute remaining in the second. And back on his bicycle retreating is Horiguchi. Just a reset, but then gets nailed with the left hand from Mix. So Mix doing a good job of counterattacking. He is doing a good job. He's getting, Right now it's about a two to one as far as them landing. Patchy Mix just Looking for his opportunity. Horiguchi pitching a shutout in the kicking department and does have a slight edge and total strikes landed as we are through 10 minutes of action. Hawaiian MMA royalty, Big John McCarthy, Hilo Zone, BJ Penn. No doubt about it, BJ is uh... A special guy here on the island. He's a special guy anywhere, man. One of the pioneers of the sport of MMA when it comes to evolution and everything. His jujitsu was special at a time, and his toughness in the stand-up is unquestioned. The last 20 seconds, right? I'll say, get busy, get busy. One, one. All right? Very good, very good. The bell, this is round number three. Remember all Grand Prix bouts scheduled for five rounds. And immediately Horaguchi trying to get those recommended 10,000 steps in. <laughs> and he's been effective with it. He's going to get a lot more than 10,000 in. 
There's a lead left hook as Horaguchi crushes face. They uh, almost flashed heads and nice right hand, the body by Horaguchi. And Patchy Mix unable to get on track, John, trying to find a way to develop some kind of rhythm and try to neutralize the movement of Horaguchi. As you mentioned, I love the way you described it. It's like hurting cats. Moving to Horaguchi is hard for anybody. Uh, the second round came out. You take a look at that. I gave the round to Horaguchi. It's 10 9, but that's the reason you had to give that 10 8 to Patchy Mix in the first. Big difference in the rounds. Counter left over the top by Horaguchi. Mix feeling the pressure. Horaguchi finding a range with that right hand. This is with the kick. Mix trying to find a way to tag Horaguchi, stop his movement, proving to be difficult. And now Horaguchi again lands the kick and the right and moves out of harm's way. So you're right, finding the distance, finding the opportunity to score. Patchy Mix now starting to feel a little bit more sorry for Sergio Pettis and what he was dealing with in that championship fight. He realized this guy moves in and out all over. Nice and left hook. Beautiful on the top. left hook by Horaguchi, and he's trying to impede Mix's movement by going to the body as well. So Horaguchi beginning to become more fluid in his striking. Deliver more. There's a body kick by Mix. He's do a lot more of that. It'll help slow Horaguchi down. Now out. Mix changes levels. And he felt that if it went to the ground, blood, they may have, I don't know where the blood is coming from, but Mix said he would have the advantage on the ground. Horaguchi now giving up his back again, like we saw in the first round. That's something Horaguchi's got to stop. With someone like Patchy Mix giving that back to try to get out, you got to be sure. Was it a head clash or is the cut over the right eye of it's Mix? It's over the right eye of Patchy Mix. Don't know where it came from, but it's there and Mix again. Back to the body triangle like we saw in the first round. And he has had a lot of success in his career from this position. He's got two minutes of time to work this position. He really needs to work at hiding his offhand so when he tries to get that choke, he can lock it in. Looking for his sixth rear naked choke victory. Horiguchi defending. And the body triangle continues to give Patchy Mix the control. Great job by Patchy. Started to lose that position. Got himself squared up on the back. That cut did come from a clash of heads, Moral. There it is. We see it in isolation. So a minute now remaining here in the third. The fight will become official once it reaches the end of the third round. Don't want to bring up any recent uh, memory in Bellator Grand Prix, <laughs> but there you go. 45 seconds left in the third here. And Patchy Mix again from back position. Proving to make life difficult for Kyoji Horaguchi. And the body triangle's been released. He's got the hook in, but Horaguchi trying to escape. Horaguchi trying to work that position over. He might get to the top here. He can get his hips turned with his leg is caught. And there you Horaguchi go, guys. Got does it. it. And here with 15 seconds left, Horaguchi in top position. Slashes the elbow across the face of Mix. Final seconds of the third. Mix looking for a buggy choke. Doesn't have it. Let's get, let's get another take on this round so that, the, that guarantees the win. Double, okay? Double time. 
Here was that clash of heads right here. I think right there, that little bit, you could catch the corner of that right on Patchy Mix, right eye. That little clash is what caused the cut. Bantamweight World Grand Prix, the winner of the tournament, will be the interim champion due to Sergio Pettis, the reigning champion, out with an injury, and they will earn a $1 million bonus check. The journey begins here, and according to unofficial score, Big John McCarthy, Patchy Mix is up. 29-27, high kick by Horaguchi, rushes in with the punch. No rushing in for Patchy Mix. And his tempo has to change, Sean. Well, you, you know, instead of chasing Horaguchi, it's not a bad idea to make him come to you and but set man, up Horaguchi's your counters. making him pay when he comes to <laughs> That's true. Mix on his back foot, trying to set some kind of a trap, fainting. Horaguchi. Finding, trying to find a way to strike. Von Coyle and just lunges in with that left hand. Two bits just missing with that kick. Not a bad idea though. Gucci now with American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida, but his formative years spent time at the Killer Bee Gym, buzzing around the cage like a bee and a disciple of the late great Norifumi Kid Yamamoto. There's a inside kick and coming forward with the combination is Horiguchi. Three minutes left here in the fourth. And Patchy Mix needs to mix it up, goes forward with the left, but Again, just continues to follow Horaguchi. Horaguchi attacks him to the body with the right. Well, this is why when you know when we talk about you know fighters and speed, speed kills. It is not easy to deal with. It's not that Patchy Mix is a slow fighter. It's just that Horaguchi is exceptionally fast. And Horaguchi told us that speed would be one of the biggest advantages in this fight. And there he takes a beautiful kick by Horaguchi. Mix off his feet with that Horaguchi offering. Picking him apart. Darting in and out, scoring. Two to one now is the advantage for Horaguchi in terms of total strikes landed. There's a kick partially blocked by Horaguchi. Under two minutes left in the fourth. Horaguchi able to sneak in with that left, John, and sneak out. Yeah, he just uh, brings himself inside, lands his shot, and then he's on the exit. It's a nice shot by Patchy Mix, Cobb coming in. Seconds of the fourth round, Patchy Mix trying to find the distance, trying to catch Kyoji Horaguchi. Knee 
by Mixes Horiguchi came in. And there's now blood on the left, uh, trickling down the left eye of Horiguchi. Or is that, or could that be Mixes? That I might can't be tell. Mixes, might be I can't tell. Blood, yeah. Cap kick by Horiguchi. Please, continues so to slow down. Mix it is a cut, right, John? Horiguchi is cut over the left eye. Corner of it. So the cut man in the corner of Horiguchi and the cut man in the corner of Mix going to work as we head to the fifth and final round. Great guys. Still to come, it is the homecoming for Honolulu's own former flyweight champion of Bellator MMA, Alima Lay McFarlane, and we're seeing Kyoji Raguchi in action here tonight. Well, I told Alima Lay before tonight's fight, she and Genki Sudo, longtime Japanese MMA star, responsible for the most memorable entrances in MMA. Hey, Justine Kish hopes to make it memorable for herself. She's trying to snap a career-long losing streak and spoil the homecoming for Alima Lay McFarlane. That's still to come tonight. Wait until that entrance. Your goosebumps are gonna have goosebumps, Big John. I didn't even know I had goosebumps. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. We go now to the fifth and final round. Fifth and final round. Who is going to advance to the semifinals and move one step closer to the one million dollar bonus check and the opportunity to call themselves interim champion? Hey, Oroguchi's been to the top of the mountain both here and. Bellator and Rise and Patchy Mix would like another opportunity. And according to Big John McCarthy, Patchy Mix still with a one point lead going into this fifth and final round. And of course, that's because of that 10 8 opening round you scored for Mix. It has to be when you take a look at these other rounds and stuff. That round was dominant by Patchy Mix. That's why I gave him the 10 8. Set for dramatic. Conclusion here and again, Patchy Mix, another opportunity to work from his office, the back of his opponent, Kyoji Horaguchi. And in the fifth round, you see the perspiration glistening off their bodies, John. It's going to be that much more difficult, but the same goes for Horaguchi, who's been 20 minutes now with Patchy Mix carrying his weight here in the fifth. Absolutely, both of them right now, Patchy Mix is with that body triangle, but man, his legs are burning because of everything that's happened in this fight. Horiguchi having to hold not only his weight up, but Patchy Mix's weight, not easy. And right now, just that kind of choke right there as far as covering the mouth, all that is good stuff for Patchy Mix. Don't worry so much about getting the perfect choke. Just create problems for him right now. Maintain the position. And Horiguchi trying to shake him off. Nice job by Horiguchi just trying to inch his way out of it. It is so difficult, Moro, when you are tired, your arms are burning now. And you're going for this choke like Patchy Mix. Incredible here in the fifth. See him pulling it back. And remember, Horikuchi against Demetrius Johnson was submitted at 4.59 of the fifth round. How crushing for his lone submission loss. But he's in trouble here in the fifth with Patchy Mix from his back. Still employing the body triangle. But Horikuchi doing a good job of defending. Horikuchi has outstanding defense. Someone on his back because Patchy Mix knows what he's doing. He's very good at it. This is not a bad idea. Well, a half Nelson there with him. And again, Horiguchi turned on him. able to reverse and turn and be in the open guard now. So again, twice. Able to, and now with over two minutes left, it's Horiguchi that can try to maximize top position. But Mix holding on to his neck, not for long. And the real question here is, well, how much did you see Apache Mix? Oh, 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 nice job. What a sweep by 
Hot Mix into side control. And now going for the guillotine. And she makes back on the neck here. Great to hear that Wu-Tang Clan and Nas are going on tour, and man, Horikuchi definitely has to protect his neck from Patchy Mix, and he's done it so far, John. A minute and a half left in the fight. How much fight left in Kyoji Horiguchi? And Patchy Mix. I really think Patchy Mix needs to kind of open up just a little bit, put pressure in, try to land a couple little strikes with some ground and pound, or get that back. Again, nice job by Horiguchi. That's what we're talking about right there. Those things make big differences. That's why Kyoji has to turn his back. Nice setup by Apache Mix. We are into the final minute of this, the opening contest of the eight-man, $1 million Bantamweight World Grand Prix. Apache Mix, winner of two in a row since being outpointed for the vacant Bantamweight title by Juan Archuleta, who then lost the title to Sergio Pettis and Kyoji Horiguchi, a former 135-pound champion, knocked out in his last fight by reigning champ Sergio Pettis. One of them will make it to the semifinals. And it appears that it's going to come down to the three judges at cage side to determine who will advance in the Grand Prix. Tough night at the office for both Patchy Mix and Kyoji Horaguchi. Well, I'll tell you what, you gotta be impressed by Patchy Mix because, you know, he had that fight with Juan Archuleta where it showed that his fight IQ and maturity just weren't quite there. He made mistakes. He didn't make the same mistakes here tonight. He has learned, he's evolved. And it's because of that evolution with guys like Jake Shields, I think he got the win here tonight. All right, we're about to find out who has advanced in the Bantamweight World Grand Prix. Here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance in this quarter, final round matchup, we go now to your three judges. All three judges at cage side, Brian Miner, Kyle Takao, and Frank Trigg. See it exactly the same, 48 to 47. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision. Now moving into the semifinal round of the Bantamweight World Grand Prix. Patchy no Mix. 28-year-old Patchy Mix has just recorded the biggest win of his career. Handing Kyoji Horiguchi his second consecutive loss, the first yeah. time that Horiguchi's lost back-to-back -back fights. Let's go to Big John McCarthy standing by with the winner. I'm here with your winner, Patchy Mix. Patchy, that was a dog fight. Normally when you get somebody's back, you finish. How frustrating was it for you when you couldn't get the finish on him? It was tough, man. He was well prepared. I knew he was gonna be well trained. That's why I knew I had to go five rounds. Like, I knew I had to be in shape to go seven. Like. In the third round, I got up, I started walking, I seen you commentating, I was like, you know what, uh, 
I've been here with Juan, so I'm not getting tired this time. I'm going to press the gas. How important was your fight with Juan and getting you prepared for this to fight your fight throughout the whole five rounds? Extremely important. You know, uh, Gucci, he was just up on the champion, four rounds to nothing. Like, he was a Bellator world champion. You know, I had just beat a former world champion in itself. 48-47 uh, is a little close. I think I could have got 49-46, but it's tough. Um, though, you know, the best thing about... My favorite thing is improving people right. It's proving people wrong. And, he, you know, I was an underdog. But I told my coaches before I came out here, I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a fucking dog. Not an underdog. I'm a dog. Ain't no doubt about you being a dog. And you are a winning dog. That was a beautiful fight. Thank you to my coaches, uh, Jake, Harry, Nate, um, Dennis, Don, Tatiana, all my teammates, Kobe Fair, Sal Renfro, um, Anthony Pilot, everyone, man. You know, it was a team effort, so... You know, everyone at Extreme Couture, everyone from back home with WNY MMA, we're moving on. Semifinals, the first to advance the million dollar tournament. I'm coming for that million. I'm coming for that belt. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the first man to advance in the World Grand Prix. Patchy No Love Mix. 16 and 1, Patchy Mix remains in the mix. Looking to build on the biggest victory of his career. He just took out a former. Bellator Bantamweight champion in Shoji Horaguchi. Let's get it back to Amanda Guerra at the fight desk.